This building is the first structure we grew entirely uh, using our mushroom material. So it makes up not just the insulation of the walls, but also the structural form of the entire building. And we didn't just add that later, we actually grew it in place. So as we built this up, as if it was concrete forms, we kept adding layers of our mycelium and putting pine boards up. And over the next two weeks, inside the wall cavities, which already had wiring in them, already had plumbing in them, the mycelium knit the wall together, glued the tongue and groove pine boards together, and forms the structure, the insulation, and really the meat of this home. It's about 64 square feet, approximately uh, 10 feet, 12 feet long by eight feet wide. It's about 12 feet tall. We are inside the tiny house. The walls are both insulated and structurally held together with our mushroom material. The whole building sits on top of a trailer so it can be towed around. We've got mushroom acoustical tiles in the ceiling to help reduce the noise inside. And then we've got this cool loft up here so you can hop in and take a little nap or take a sleep when you're on the road. This is typically called a window of truth. In this case, you can actually see the mushroom wall, this white material, which is all throughout the wall and holding the building together. We put the wiring in before we filled the wall cavities. And now the electrical wiring is encased inside the wall cavity. For someone building a tiny home, uh, this is kind of a neat construction method because you get the thermal performance, you know, insulation for your home. You get fire retardants. It's a very fire resistant building material. Uh, you get health benefits. There's no VOCs or aldehydes. Because this whole structure inside of here is one monolithic core of grown together mushroom insulation, it's much, much stronger than if you'd individually screwed or nailed a bunch of studs together. So our kit uh, on our website starts with a full kit, which I think is like $10,000, which comes with a trailer. Or you can start with just buying the raw material from us. So you can just buy living bags of our raw material and you can source your own wood for the walls, you can source your own windows, figure out your roofing solution, and do it all yourself. And for that, you can get started on a tiny house for $1,000 or $2,000. We thought this structure would be a great aspirational option for us to kind of demonstrate the capabilities of mushroom insulation as a building material.